Scream and preach. All she do is take, take, take like a leech. Locked up, classified. That's my nigga reach. Tongue emoji, wet emoji, but she ain't a freak. That's the triple X doctor ganger in my sheets. I ain't French, but she come over fucking on my wee wee. Who is that? Like, who is that? Over <laughs> It's like, I, no I be seeing that emo shit. I be like, who the fuck? I'll be on TikTok like, who created that? I don't know who made that song, but I know a good portion of the song. I think like a black chick was on. Um... I don't know black people. That's a white man. No, I'm saying like I seen it from a black chick. Like it was this black chick doing like she was emo or something. And that was her whole thing. But she was like really cute. But she was emo as fuck. And you that like was... her? Damn. Go find her. She's talking all you mad? Her. You mad as fuck because <laughs> she was Ross fucking that video. <laughs> I know you're sad and tired, but you'll get over it. You'll find another life to live. I swear that you'll get over it. What's up with it, Charles? Big boss coming back with another <laughs> verses. And when I do these verses, I don't do them myself. Now you already know. You seen it? You see? You, you, first of all, y'all know who this is. Look, y'all see? She because she did the shit last time. You know. <laughs> <laughs> all right man uh y'all be hearing me talk about the time or whatever so for the people that don't know who the hip checker is next time you know what i'm saying can you please tell these people who you is and what you get into it's your girl erica J, uh the best cleveland r&b artist in the city right now um fight me about it if you don't, don't agree but, but yeah she don't drop nothing no nah, i do i just forgot Ah. <laughs> but I'm for real though. Y'all about to be like, oh, she really can sing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, where the fuck is it at? Like, drop that shit. You know what I mean? So, uh, y'all, she didn't drop since yeah, the last time. Like that, yeah, you know, see, see how we just put I'm on the not part. gonna like did not have to do like that. Hey. You did not have to do it like that. But I bet, <laughs> hey, hey, y'all, but when the song dropped, we're gonna be like, Chris, thank you. I'm like, I had to, y'all. You feel me? But look, y'all. you gonna sing it to me? I might. Why would they thank you? Because they don't love when you drop it, they gonna listen and they gonna like it. Let's get into these she, things. Hey, she mad because we like her. <laughs> Let's she, get into these things. She mad because we like her music, but <laughs> and we want her to drop it. Like goddamn. All right, so look, y'all. Um, this is a whole little switch up, right? Y'all been watching these verses. I always bring three fragrances on the show. This is the battle. Okay, this is a whole different battle. What I'm doing is I'm pairing up fragrances that smell similar to each other. So they're still going against like a versus, but these are five different battles, okay? So for example, the first thing we gonna do today is Killian's Angel Share versus Latafa Kamra. You get it now? So she gonna smell mm -hmm. this, smell this, and she gonna pick the best one out of these fragrances that smell similar. I got some other ones here, and that's what the video gonna be about, all right? So first off, we are gonna go with Angel sharing comma, okay? Can we do that? That's cool with y'all? Cool with you? We in there. All I, all I need you to do, Erica, is pick which one you want to smell first. Angel share. All right, Charles. Angel let's... share. Angel share. All right, check that out. Mm. Okay, so that's angel share. Man, you ain't really got to get too much commentary. I just need you to smell it. Mm. And then this is camera. All I need you to do is just tell me which one. Oh, these do smell similar. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one smells better, but I feel like the first one is just sweeter. This is more of a musk. So if you had like a preference, your man come in the crib. One day he got Angel Cheryl on the first one. And this one. The second one? You like yeah. the second one. So she said she likes Latafa's camera. Yeah. That's how it be, y'all. So when y'all in the store and y'all couldn't decide which one to get, oh, go really ahead like and go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and go pick up camera. Okay, y'all, we have Latafa's Aside, and then we have Dior Sauvage. Alex, Savage. Savage. I'm saying, which one you want to smell first? Though? This one, because I was looking at that one. This side. Okay, so grab one stick in one hand, and the other one in the other hand. That's how I'm gonna do it. So this is a side. Whoops. That's a side. And this is the your Savage. Did I spray it? Yeah. 
Like, like I think I'm missing that bitch. Oh. Damn. Okay, that's enough of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's strong. <laughs> Ooh, I already like this first one. All right. But you said she liked the side. Yeah, this this one because this one a little musty. This a little musty. But this one is good. That one good. Damn, the top of beating ass right now. And you just definitely you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, y'all. <laughs> Aside, be out Dior Sauvage. So when you in a store and you like, I'm about to get me some Dior Sauvage, uh-uh. Go ahead and go get La Tafa. You know what I'm saying? Did you kind of see how they smell a little similar? Yeah, they definitely similar, but this, still pick that. this one is better. Like, that one was like the musty version. Wow. And, get, and guess what one uh, cost more? The Sauvage. She know. All right, y'all, next we have Quayle Fassans by Latafa, and then we have Rave Now. Both of these fragrances smell very similar with that pineapple note. So which one is better? Pineapple. Let's find out. So, same thing like last time. Yeah, I was on my own time. I was about to grab that shit while you were talking. See? I was about to be so messy. You know what you're doing. So I'm gonna spray Fasson, this one. All these basic sprays, bro. I'm just, I'm just gonna make it right now. No. Okay. Latafa. Mm. Right. Mm, they both smell good, but this one is just better. And that was the um, first time. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, damn, Latafa is beating ass. <laughs> These are all Latafa fragrances. Maybe wow. I just got a, a preference. Yeah, you might just, you know, in Middle Eastern fragrances, like, they from like, Middle Eastern. Yeah, Ooh. so she's supposed to be in like Egypt or some shit. Bally, oh, Bollywood. Right, so. mm -hmm. Let me stop being racist. Yeah. I'll cut that. All right, look, y'all. Uh, <laughs> uh, she says she like Fasan better than Rave. Now, like I said before, which one you want to get? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get the topper. I figure. I'm just guessing you should just get all the topper. Buy them all because. It's they a good brand. It's yeah. giving good brand because every single one is good. And all them fragrances is less than twenty five dollars. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Next we have John <laughs> Paul Gaultier's Ultramar versus Afnon's 9 p.m. Both of these fragrances smell similar. It's what everybody says. That's what I be saying. Which one is better though? You know what I'm saying? So we can make our little mind up. Who copied who? You know what I'm saying? That's the real question. So let's go ahead and smell. Uh, nah. This 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Yeah. And this is Booty Man. Booty Man. That is Ultramar. He cheeked up, double cheeked up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at my homeboy. Ooh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> my homeboy crazy. Cheeks. 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 He don't care. Oh, they do smell similar. Mm -hmm. But I already knew I was going to like 9 p.m. one. You like 9 p.m.? But like why? Because it just, I think I'm biased from the name one and two. It's just like alcohol -y. Okay. So it's just like. It's like a, they, they put a hint of his booty in there. <laughs> <laughs> 9 p.m. for 9 sure. 9 p.m. for sure. But they similar. It's just a hint of booty and alcohol in this one. And, get, and get, guess which one is the most expensive one? The booty one. Yeah, she knows a lot. Yeah, I'm wondering maybe, why. Oh my, maybe no. I'm cheap. It's okay. I don't care. Pay <laughs> your money. As long as you smell good. She said 9 p.m. beats out. John Paul Gaultier. All right. So when you on fragrancenet.com and you like, I'm about to get the whole John Paul collection. You don't have to. You can just skip that and get 9 p.m. And 9 she said it smells better. All right. Surround. All right, y'all. <laughs> like she said, this is the last round, the last two fragrances, okay? And what we have is another Latafa fragrance, okay? Latafa is known for making clones of fragrances. So that's why Latafa smells like a lot of different fragrances, right? Right, okay. First off, we have Latafa's Confidential Private Gold. Confidential. Private gold. Y'all look at the bottle. Yeah, that's true. They got the 
Seventeen dollars. They got the Arabic on there. Mm -hmm. I didn't even see that. Oh. Middle Eastern. And then we have Hermes Amber Oud Gold Edition. These two fragrances are very, very similar to me. And I kind of want to know myself which one is better. So that's why I got the lovely Eric on the summer. So we're about to go ahead and smell these. I want to know. You can figure that out. <laughs> you can figure that yeah, out. Yeah, you, you look like you was about to uh, handle your business. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to spray. I'm going to spray Amber Oud right here. You see how much I use it? It's not even nothing in there. I'm gonna get another bottle. Mm. And then we got confidential. Okay. Amber Oak. Mm. Confidential. <laughs> you gotta be like, oh, he smells so good. Ooh, he smells better. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go with that first one. You like amber over over there? I kind of thought yeah. that too. It's All just right. a little, you know, sweet. You like the so you like the sweetness and what you what's the vibe you getting from the confidential? <laughs> what? He got money, but he wear this to mask cigarette smells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never heard that. He was like, "Yo, I'm funky. Just my shit in the car. Just I'm about to go meet up with my girl." It's in a Tesla, though. He in the Tesla. But he be smoking them cigarettes. He be smoking them cigarettes. You don't, you don't fuck with that. It do got that like that menthol smell. Yeah, like he he masking cigarettes. Yeah, he be smoking that. So look, y'all. She said confidential. Yeah, cigarette boy. But <laughs> hair man, hair man, You know, this is one of my favorite fragrances. Probably like top fifteen. I really love this. I always kind of show y'all, like, I'd be using it. I need another bottle. You can find all mm -hmm. these fragrances on Amazon, okay? Amazon, super cheap, all right? All right. If y'all like this video, a little switch up, you know what I'm saying? Try something different. Y'all always come in here watching these verses. I'm like, man, let me give my homeboy something to watch, something a little different. Mm -hmm. So if y'all like this video, man, make sure I like, comment, and subscribe. It's Erica. Erica, do you have an Instagram? Yes, I do. I just created another one. Number four, because well, I keep getting them deactivated. Why? Because I'm from Cleveland. <laughs> That's why. Because <laughs> what the fuck? So, yeah, so her fourth, and what is it though? Like, all hail Erica J. All hail, hail Erica, Erica J. All, all hail, hail Erica J. Erica J. Say less. I'm going to put that up on the screen right there, y'all, so y'all can go ahead and follow, like, uh, spam and her DMs. Like, drop some music, drop some music, drop some music, and say it like 20 times a day every day for the rest of the year i am i am All, i am i am i promise yeah you know what i'm saying so I, pinky I, swear, pinky swear. I swear to god so i need at least 500 of y'all to hop into her dm to her to drop music 20 times a day for the rest of her life and then hopefully she dropped a song you know what i'm saying i am i swear to god. <laughs> feel me all right y'all you know saying y'all stay fly y'all stay looking good you know what i'm saying make sure y'all start wiping your glasses with wet wipes it's hard to go into your house <laughs> It's just seeing toilet paper. I'm trying to tell you if you had a pile of shit. I'm telling you if you had a pile of shit and you slap it on your face, you're not grabbing toilet paper to wipe the shit off your face. You're grabbing a wet wipe or something or something wet. So when you put, you know what I mean? Your boss like shit. Why? Because you're using toilet paper. You telling your girl, hey, baby, you come and you wondering why she just the past year been like not been ducking you. Now you know, okay? Y'all, y'all stay looking cool, man. Uh, this is Erica, this is Chris, man. We out.